Welcome to this Final Cut Pro 10 training. My name is Larry Jordan. In this session, I want to show you how to create a simple edit. My goals specifically are to create a simple edit from existing media, show you how to review a clip in the viewer, then, using either the mouse or the keyboard, show you how to skim a clip in the event browser, how to select a portion of a clip, how to edit the clip to the timeline, and how to play your edit for review. As a bonus, I'll also show you how to view your edit in full screen. The primary storyline is the main theme of your edit, the principal story, and it's located on the central tracks of your timeline. Clips like B-roll or music are connected to the primary storyline and located above or below the primary storyline. In Final Cut 7 terms, the primary storyline would be similar to the clips on V1, A1, and A2. Here's our project. It's called Gnomes Among Us. The media that we just imported is in the event library up on top, and as you can see in the timeline, we have not yet added any clips. Well, the first thing that we need to do is to decide which shot we want to start our program with. I have five right here in the browser, and the way that we can review a clip is to simply grab our mouse and drag across inside the picture. It's called skimming, and as we do, we're able to see the picture change in the viewer on the right-hand side. By simply jumping from one picture to another, we can skim from one portion of a shot to another shot, or from one shot to another shot. In this case, I want my opening shot to be this wide shot of the garden. So I'm going to put my mouse near the beginning. I could put it anywhere. I'm going to simply drag out, pick up a little bit of that zoom, and now that yellow rectangle indicates the start of my clip and the end of my clip. I can modify it by grabbing the out and dragging left or right. I can modify the beginning by grabbing the in and dragging it left or right. And when I'm ready to edit the timeline, I'm going to grab the clip with my mouse, drag it down, let go, and poof, it's automatically edited right to the beginning of my timeline. I don't have to align it. Final Cut does it for me automatically. Well, dragging is all well and good. It's easy, it works, but it's slow. I hate the word slow. I want to go faster. So, second shot. I'm going to have the second shot be a, are this, this gnome close-up, except this time I'm not going to drag to set the in and the out. I'm going to use the keyboard. I'm going to find where I want the shot to start right there. Just hold the mouse. I'm not clicking anything. I type the letter I to set the in, drag a little bit more, I'm not holding the mouse button down. I'm simply sliding the mouse. Type the letter O to set the out, and now I've got the in and the out set for this clip. I could drag all the way down to the timeline, but pff, been there, done that. Instead, I'm going to click this icon right here. When I do, it appends, adds, my new shot to the tail end of my primary storyline. That's what I'm building here. The central track is called the primary storyline. All right better, but not fast enough. So I'm going to do one more. I'm going to put my playhead here and type the letter I to set an in, put the playhead there, and type the letter O to set an out. I could drag it, too slow. I could click this, still too slow. But the keyboard shortcut is the letter E to edit that clip down to the timeline. So you could drag a clip, you could click the edit button, or you could type the letter E. We can play a clip, as I said, by skimming, just holding our mouse down. But if I click to set the playhead here and hit the space bar, now I'm playing by using the space bar to play the clip. Click where you want to start the playback, hit the space bar, and we're now playing the clip. Well, seeing as the space bar controls playback in the event library, what happens if we hit the space bar in the timeline? Well, I hit the home key to take my playhead, that's this thing with the triangle on top, hit the home key to move it back to the beginning, hit the space bar, there we go, and we're now playing. Home key resets, space bar to play. For you keyboard junkies out there, that grew up on the J, K, and L keys, they still work. The letter L plays, the letter K stops, the letter J goes backwards. Type the letter L twice, we go double speed forward, K stops, J twice, double speed back. 
And if you feel like taking a real risk, try L three times. Boom, boom, boom. We're going a triple speed forward or the letter J three times, triple speed backward. Slow motion is K and L forward and slow motion is K and J backward. But watch this. There's more. This is a high definition video. I'd like to see what it looks like in high def. I mean, I want to see a bigger picture, not just something small like this in a viewer. So we go up to the view menu, go down to playback, and select play full screen. Boom, it's playing full screen. Spacebar to stop. The J key goes backwards, L key goes forwards, J, L, J, L. Okay, I'm getting nauseous. And to get back out, hit the escape key, and we're back inside. The keyboard shortcut is Shift, Command, F to go full screen, and escape to get back. Shift, Command, F, as in Frank, to go full screen, and escape to get back. <sighs> Keyboard shortcuts, mouse shortcuts, buttons to click, whatever works the best for you. I am absolutely a keyboard shortcut junkie. And I use those a lot, but you have options. We could use the mouse, or we could use the append button, or we could use keyboard shortcuts. Using either the mouse or the keyboard, we can review clips in the event browser, either by skimming or by clicking to indicate where you want the playhead to start and hitting the spacebar. You can mark the start, also called the in, or the end, called the out, of the clip you want to edit to the timeline with the mouse or with the keyboard. You can edit your clips to the timeline, you can review your edit in the timeline, and you can display and play your edit full screen. Now there's lots more editing power that's inside Final Cut Pro 10. But now, in just two short tutorials, you know how to import your media and how to create a simple edit to the timeline. I'm looking forward to showing you more, but already you know enough to get started. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching this Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial.